Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on the tweezer tops candlesticks pattern. So I'm going to read you the definition of tweezer tops, then I'm going to show you several examples um, on real live charts. So tweezers are uh, a pattern found in technical analysis of options trading or regular trading. I don't know why they have it specifically for options trading. That's interesting. Uh, tweezer patterns occur when two or more candlesticks touch the same bottom for a tweezer bottom pattern or top for a tweezer top pattern. This type of pattern can be uh, with candlestick charts of various types. Breaking down the tweezer. Tweezer bottoms are considered to be short-term bullish reversal patterns. Tops are bearish in either and means that buyers or sellers were not able to push the top or bottom any further. Both types of patterns require close observation and research in order to be interpreted and used correctly. So I'm gonna show you several different examples. Uh, if you uh, have ever taken a look at the candlesticks course, um, they like to recommend that the first candlestick needs to be a longer bodied, real bodied one, then the second one needs to be short bodied. Um, but you're not going to see, you know, like this doesn't say here on Investopedia. So you got to look at, you know, several different types. Look at basically two highs. Um, you know, a stock makes a high. The next candle can't break that high. So it's a potentially bearish signal. Obviously doesn't mean 100% of the time it's going to reverse, but a lot of times that it does. So I'm going to show you again several examples. So let's go and take a look at Ford. We will go over here, uh, over here, F. You're going to see here, this is a really nice looking one right here. Big green real body right here forms a top, right? And then you're going to see the second real body here, or the smaller candlestick here. You see if I do a, a drawing right across here, if you look, they have the same top. Now, this is where we tell people, don't get bogged down too much in the minutia of things, because sometimes you might get a wick that might be a tiny bit taller uh, than this other one. That doesn't mean it can't be a tweezer top and can't reverse. So it's never going to be like 100% exact. Sometimes you'll see a great pattern like this, but a lot of times it'll be very, very close. Like, uh, give you an example of something like this one right here. Um, I'm not saying this is necessarily a tweezer top pattern, but give you an example. See how this wick right here just gets a tiny bit taller than this one, right? That wouldn't negate, let's say that was like at the top of an uptrend, like up here, right? Let's say if this pattern was up here, that wouldn't negate necessarily it being kind of like a tweezer top or a potential, you know, reversal downwards just because of that. So, you know, keep an eye on it. Again, you're going to see patterns all the time. A lot of times they're going to be very, very similar, but don't discount them because, you know, everything isn't always perfect in the trading world. This is a really nice looking uh, tweezer top right here. Um, but again, we're going to show you several examples here. All right, ABIO. This is almost like utter perfection right here. This is probably about as perfect as you can get, right? Real long body right here. Got the kind of the wick up top, right? perfectly flat base right at the top. I mean, this is a perfect looking one. Now you're going to see with this chart, this is very interesting. You're going to see like lots of tweezer tops all over the place over here. You know, you can see one. So let me just draw a line here, right? So there's a top right up there, right? Or perfect tweezer top, flat, you know, base up top there. I'm not going to put a ton of drawings on here. Look over here. Here's one right here. Look at this drawing where you can see Boom, look at that. That's a tweezer top right there. Perfect kind of flat top. Stock make too high, you know, can't, this candle right here can't break this high, but this candle is obviously bigger than this candle. Doesn't mean it's not a tweezer top. So it's not, the first candlestick wasn't the long one. The second one was, again, still a tweezer top, right? So let me just remove this drawing here. Um, right here, tweezer top. See that right there? This must be like a manipulated stock of some sorts. They're just like, I, I was just, I pulled this up here and you can see just like a bunch of uh, tweezer tops on this chart. Um, I mean, they're all over the place. Look at it, like tweezer bottoms. Like, see this? It's just like, whatever. This is some, I don't even know. I don't know anything about this stock, but it looks kind of <laughs> kind of garbage. 
let's take a look at Netflix over here. You're going to see kind of a smaller one. Um, you know, you can see here the candlestick. I mean, it's still big or real body, but not not a really big one. But as you can see here, you know, big or green candlestick. A smaller one couldn't break. If you look here, I'll pull up uh, my handy drawing tool that I like to use. You can see those two little wicks almost like right at the same peak right here. Stock's moving up. Couldn't break this previous high. And boom, it fell. Doesn't mean it's always going to fall. But again, you know, it's they're pretty lot reliable pattern. So potential reversal top pattern, right? So that is one for Netflix. Let's take a look at Citigroup. C here. This is a really nice looking one. And this one might be one... Look at that. So perfect example. Like it's almost, so right here, you can see the circular, bigger green one, smaller red candlestick. But just to give you an example, like that's almost perfect. But that red tiny wick is a tiny bit above that green one. So that doesn't negate that being a tweezer top. You see what I'm saying? This is a perfect example of where you can see something it's not like almost 100% exact. You see there's like a tiny bit of spacing in between the top of that green and the red top of that red candle wick. It's still a tweezer top, you know? So, you know, again, don't get stuck in the minutia of things of it having to be 100% perfect. Look at oh, what's happening. Uptrend, stocks overextended on the RSI. This green candle made a high. And the second one couldn't break that high. It just did for a kind of a second there. And then it reversed, right? So that's the story we tell people. Look at what's happening. Look what the pattern. Look, look what's happening in the overall uptrend or downtrend. Whatever's happening. Basically, look at the charts. Look at the other indicators. <clears throat> then look at the pattern, what it's trying to tell you. And this is saying, hey, this stock's overextended. There needs to be a potential reversal coming pretty soon. And as you can see, there absolutely was. Let's look at John Deere, okay? So here's a couple bigger. Um, I'm gonna change this here to up top. And as you can see, stock move up, big green candlestick here. Another green one created a high up here. And as you can see, that second candle came in, touched that previous high, couldn't break it, and then it reversed, right? Came down, pull back. So tweezer tops, right? Picture tweezers like those sharp ends kind of thing. Now it's not always going to have two tops like this that you can like in the other one I showed you earlier. The other one didn't have any wicks up top. The first one did. So sometimes you get two kind of or upper shadows, whether you want to call them wicks or upper shadows, upper shadows. I like calling them wicks. Um, so like, you know, candle, candle wick, right? So um, you'll see in the other one, the other one didn't have an upper wick. These two do. So, but again, it's two candles that can't break that high that show that potential reversal downwards. AT&T or T here for the symbol. Here's another one. Second candle, bigger than the first candle, but if you look across, you know, couldn't break the high. And look, reverse downwards. It fell downwards, right? This is happening. Now, again, these patterns don't always happen when a stock's overextended. This one is kind of hovering right in the middle of RSI, EMAs are trading sideways, and uh, it shows a direction, and that direction was down, right? So you can see, couldn't break that those two tops, right? So this one for Verizon, another one, a little different here. Look at this, right? So you got almost like a hanging man and a doji, right? And you can see tiny bit that candle that second one tiny bit higher than the first doji right that lick wick on the top of it is just a tiny bit taller but look it's still basically a tweezer top again look at the patterns look what it's doing so you have a doji and a hanging man right at the top of an uptrend when the stock is overextended on the rsi so you know you have a doji is a warning sign you have a hammer or I'm sorry, a hanging man, looks like a ham hammer <clears throat> um, as a candlestick, at the top of an uptrend with a stock that's overextended and it can't break the highs to go up further of the previous candle. There it is. That's another form of something different. It's a tweezer top. And look, it's a tweezer top 
with these, you know, a hammer and a doji, can or a hanging man and a doji candle. I just like calling the stupid thing a hammer. <laughs> it's easier. But so that's another example of something. It shows you right there. See that line across, you know, it's not, couldn't break above. Boom, it fell and it reversed. Facebook. Here's another one. Stock is moving up. Now, again, kind of uh, like a spinning top kind of pattern here. But look, right, the second candle, kind of flat top, no wick. Still the same height as that other one right there. Look at it right over here. Kind of broaching over bought. <clears throat> Wasn't that quite there yet. But you kind of got that spinning top pattern. Couldn't break that high there. And as you can see, it kind of bounced down, went back up, and then fell. Sometimes it'll reverse right away, sometimes it won't reverse, and sometimes it'll just completely tank. You gotta just watch. And the last one we'll look at is GM. Another perfect example of sometimes something is not completely perfect. Look at this, bigger green candlestick with a wick, right? Up top, second red candlestick. Now look, if you see that fur, there's just a tiny, this red uh, candlestick wick is a tiny bit shorter than the green one. So does that make it not a tweezer top? I mean, it still is. It, this second stop, this second candle couldn't break above this one, and it reversed downwards. So this is where, again, we try to teach people when we're teaching them technical analysis, not everything is going to be perfect 100% of the time, just like the stock market. No patterns are 100% perfect. Nothing works 100% of the time in the stock market. If uh, there was a foolproof way to never lose on a trade, there'd be a lot more people that are rich, but even the best fail 30, 40% of the time. So this is where, again, putting the odds in your favor with trading and noting, uh, noticing and understanding candlestick patterns is very important. And don't get bogged down in the minutia if something's not 100% perfect, because it's not always going to be 100% of the time. If you're not a member of our community yet on Facebook, come and join us. We are the Bullish Bears. You will see right up here, we call ourselves the stock market community just to differentiate ourselves from our fan page over here. So make sure to like and follow our fan page as well as join our Facebook group. You will notice when you join our community, we keep all the spammers, the trolls and the stock pumpers out. So we run a really good, clean Facebook group. So if you want to uh, join a community of other traders around the world, make sure to come and join us. Also, too, if you have not been over to our website, head over to bullishbears.com. You'll have the links below, and you'll see over on our website, we'll have several different trade rooms over here. We have a day trade room. We have a swing trade room, a futures trade room, other great areas of support. Uh, so not only do we have our Facebook community, we also have our trade rooms that are open 24 by 7. So you can talk to traders from around the world anytime, day or night. And it's a really helpful resource, especially if you're new and just getting started in the stock market. It's nice to have other uh, traders around the world as support. So we have our several different trade rooms, our Facebook group. We also do watch lists and trade alert setups every night. Uh, we send out key breakout and breakdown areas are on our alert service each night. We are not stock pumpers. We do not call out entries and exits. We help to teach you to become your own trader. So again, we help to guide you, but we're not calling entries and exits because we are not stock pumpers. So make sure you read about our alert service over here uh, if you want to know how our trade alerts work. We do also have thousands of dollars worth of free courses over here to help you get started. Uh, so if you're new, give yourself a few months to get comfortable with trading. You know, it takes many traders, you know, a few months, if not a year plus before they get really comfortable. And that's why we suggest taking our free courses and then practice in a virtual account like Thinkorswim or Interactive Brokers to really get comfortable. Make a few hundred practice trades, practice in our trade rooms, talk to other traders around the world, and just get yourself comfortable with trading. And then when you're really comfortable, then start trading with real money. Um, you'll see right here, we also have our ebook. So make sure to grab that. We have a free candlesticks ebook as well as our wallpaper backgrounds as well. So we offer so much value to our community members. So if you are not a member yet, make sure to just click the subscribe button over here and you can come and join our community. And also don't forget, if you like this video, make sure to like it, comment on it and share it. We would greatly appreciate it and uh, we will see you in our community. Enjoy.